I knew there was only one true God since I was a little girl. I knew He created the heavens and the earth and everything in both. I knew this because my mom told me it was true. And her words were like gold to me. Unfortunately, I learned about God's character from the people I attended church with every Sunday for the first 13 years of my life. These people looked down on others. People who were not white, which included most of the friends I had with in my neighborhood. There were Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, African Americans, Native Americans, and of course, they didn't like the Jews because they said the Jews killed Christ. I think Christians are trying to catch up. I think they're trying to kill Christ all over again. So I've written a book. With my attempt to hold Christians accountable for their actions. C.O.G., child of God. If God is dead, do Christians kill him? This book comes from 17 years of working as an addictions and mental health therapist with people plagued by the misguidance of false teachings and torn down by mean-spirited Christians. For example, when a woman comes into my office and asks for help accepting her husband's physical and verbal abuse because she wants to be a good Christian wife, there's a problem. As Bible passages continue to be twisted to justify bad behavior and the truth about Jesus' life and death is being mutilated. This book takes a look at gays, lesbians, abortion, death, life, and love. It also looks at love. It's an outcry to people professing to be Christians to start behaving as Christ. So the people we love will stop turning away from church and being consumed by false religions, drugs, sexual perversions, and any other temporary feel good that they need to get them through another day. Wonderful people are dying. We are the voice that can lead them to Christ or drive them away. This is a book about choices. So choose wisely. This is one thing we can't escape. Whether you're rich or poor, black or white, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, or you consider yourself an atheist. Once you're gone, it's too late. And I'm here to tell you, my Christian brother and sisters, to start acting right. Stop judging, stop condemning. Because someday, you'll face the Jesus that you're trying to destroy. Because God's not dead. And you can't kill him.